of the interesting things about a well bucket is that um, you can always get water from your own well without electricity. The pump will be have to remove. Um, two men can um, easily remove 100, 110 feet of uh, one inch or an inch and a quarter uh, PVC with a pump on the end of it. Just be careful when you do this so you don't drop the pump down in the well casing. So I'll show you what we do here. By hand. One of the good things about having one of these totes here is that when you go to pull it up, you can keep your rope clean and keep it off the ground. So you just lower this down gently and easily. Our well is 80 foot deep, so shallow wells will be a little bit easier. You don't want to wear a pair of gloves. A little bit thicker rope is better. But we're going to use this rope also with the windlass. Now I've got a piece of tape marked here. The reason for that tape is so I know right where it hits. You hear that little echo. I got another piece of tape marked right here, so I just lowered another four to five feet. As it lowers, it fills up from the bottom. And when you pull up on it, the weight of the water seals it. And you just gently pull it up. And as you can see, the rope is going in this tote here, so it keeps it clean and off the ground. You'll get to know your well. Alright, there's some nice, cool, clean, fresh drinking water. Now we're going to do this with our windlass. You're going to do this more than three, four, five, six times consecutively. Uh, it'll be best to have some type of windlass. This one that I have here is great for this, but it's um, a little bit expensive for just for a well bucket. I use it to pull my well. So what you could do is instead of a, a post on each side of your, your well head, run a cross beam, put your wood spool right in the center, come off of that with a crank. It'd be much easier. You can go a little bit faster going down if you like, but coming up you want to go a little bit slower. Doing it with a windlass takes a little bit more time coming up than it would by hand, but you won't wear yourself out. And always be watching for your, your black tape, there it comes, and then I can start slowing it down because it's going to hit the water about right here. Hear the echo. And if you got a problem well, if you know somewhere where it's hanging at, you can mark a piece of tape on the line where, it's, where it hangs at. So when you get to that point, you know where to slow it down. It could be hanging on a, a coupling, even though I do have a well casing going down 190 feet, it does catch some joint like right there. So I should mark a piece of tape about right here or here, right around in this area. So when I see that, then I know to slow down. 